going to talk about the adjustments in the infusion rate of unfractionated heparin according to the APTT from the RCOG Green Top Guideline number 37B. Now this is particularly the table that we will be talking about in this video. Now this apparently looking scary table is relatively easy to remember if we remember it with a little bit of logic and a few tricks. Now we all know that there are a few circumstances where intravenous unfractionated heparin is the preferred treatment modality. That is in cases where the initial treatment is to be given in massive pulmonary embolism. In that case, unfractionated heparin is the chosen treatment because of its rapid effect and extensive experience that we have in the use of this drug in this particular situation. Because in case we are using thrombolytic therapy, which is mostly in cases where there is limb compromise or life-threatening ischemic complications from extensive iliofemoral vein thrombosis. In these circumstances, thrombolytic therapy may be considered first following which we need to give unfractionated heparin. So, in these cases, unfractionated heparin is the preferred drug of choice. Now, when we know that we have to use it, how and when are we going to use it is what we are studying in this particular video. Now, we all know that 80 and 18 are the two values that we have to remember in this scenario. That is, 80 units per kg is the loading dose and 18 units per kg per hour is the continuous infusion rate, intravenous infusion rate. So, 80 and 18 loading, initial loading and maintenance is what we remember. Now, what we have to know is how are we going to adjust the doses according to the APTT of the patient. Now, you all know that APTT has to measure every 6 hours until and unless it is in the range desirable when it can be measured 24 hourly. Till we have it in the desirable range, we have to measure APTT every 6 hours. Once the APTT ratio is between 1.5 to 2.5, we can measure the APTT every 24 hours. So this is something that we have a basic idea about and now we are going to talk about how we will do the dose adjustment and give a bolus as and when required in how much doses is what we have to know. Now to understand this table, first we have to understand that the relationship between the APTT ratio and the dosing is mostly like a seesaw. That is, it is inversely proportional. If the APTT ratio increases, if the APTT ratio APTT ratio when it increases then the doses are of two types. This is the APTT ratio section of the seesaw and this is the dose section. So we have the loading or the bolus, rebolus and we have the maintenance. So if the APTT ratio increases, the dose has to go down. It is an in inverse relationship that we have to remember. Now to remember the doses, let's think of this lady who is a drunkard. She is somebody who cannot give up on drinking. 
So she goes to the doctor and the doctor says that you can take alcohol as in 1.5 to 2.5 pints every day. This much is the normal range which the doctor has allowed her. So she is very happy and this is the range of alcohol which is desirable for her. But at times this lady, she becomes greedy and she wants to have more alcohol. Now when she increases her consumption to up to 3 pints, then the doctor says, see you have taken too much alcohol so I will reduce your dose by 2. Okay, so now the doctor is very very angry. Because she has come all intoxicated. She is totally intoxicated. And she comes to the doctor and tells him, Doctor, I took too much of alcohol and now I don't know what to do with myself. So the doctor says, See, you've taken too much alcohol. So now I will not give you 1.5 to 2.5 pints. From that I will reduce minus 2. So reduces the dose to reduce the dose by minus 2 whatever she was allowed now she has to minus 2 from that dose now this greedy lady she takes again more than 3 more than 3 pin she takes now the doctor is very angry very very intoxicated girl now I will reduce your dose by more much more 3 that is minus 3 of the dose that she was taking so he reduces the dose to minus 2 when she takes up to 3 pins and minus 3 when she takes more than 3 pins so this alcoholic lady is very easy to remember in case we have to remember the doses of heparin now this lady on day she since she is taking so much alcohol, there will be times when she will not have money. So there is a day when she takes up to 1.2 pins. 1.2 to 1.5. This range. Okay. So this is less than what she was allowed. Now she is having again new problem withdrawal. Since she's so used to taking alcohol, now she has a new problem, withdrawal. So she runs to the doctor, says, Doctor, today I took a little less than what I am allowed to take and now I am having withdrawal. I am very, very upset, irritated, angry. Please help me, otherwise I will have a lot of health issues. I am not feeling well. So the doctor quickly says, Okay, 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 Baba. You take plus two. Two more than the pint that you are allowed to take but since she has come in a state of withdrawal you have to immediately give her something so the maintenance that is allowed is plus two that is okay but apart from that the doctor gives a bolus of 40 to get her out of the withdrawal symptom and in case she had on days when she's very very poor very very poor and she takes less than 1.2 alcohol so if she comes in a range where she's taking less than 1.2 pins she comes to the doctor again and the doctor allows her a maintenance of plus four and a bolus of life-saving 80 because she will have too much withdrawal if she is taking less than 1.2. So the doctor says, okay, okay, you take in bolus of 80 and maintenance of plus 4 over the dose that you be taking. So this in nutshell is what you have to remember. This is the allowed range of alcohol for the lady. This much is what we have to desire. In case she comes intoxicated up to 3, then in that case we increase the dose by 2. 
in case the intoxication is more than 3 then we have to in case it is more than 3 then we have to decrease sorry this is the decrease section so we have to decrease the dose by 3 and yes one more thing when she comes so intoxicated more than 3 range you have to stop the drug immediately okay the maintenance is decreased by 3 but in that case we have to stop it in immediately for 1 hour and then give a maintenance of 3 less than how much she was allowed to take alcohol and similarly when she has a withdrawal up to 1.2 pins she takes so in initially the doctor gives 40 pins yes impractical but that is what you have to remember 40 pins as stat dose and then increases the maintenance by 2 similarly when in the withdrawal is beyond 1.2 then we have to give a bolus of 80 because it is far from the desirable range so the dose has to increase accordingly and then maintenance infusion of plus 4 another easy way to remember the numericals is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 so the maintenance the first digits are actually the uh, loading first digits are double of the, that of maintenance so this is easy to remember 240 and 480 and for the other side of the chart that is this chart what we have to remember is 3 and 2 3 3 and 2 3 so this is a nutshell that we have to remember about this table. Thank you.